Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video is going to be how to do your makeup to look like Black Widow for Halloween. Add on whatever kind of outfit you want to. This is my interpretation. I would throw on a leather jacket but it's in the other room and my camera's about to die so <sighs> I'm a crappy YouTuber. It's okay. But if you want to see how I got my makeup to look like this and I just played with my hair so I didn't really do a hair tutorial but if you want to see how I got my makeup to look like Black Widows then just keep on watching. Hello, hello, hello. How are you all doing? Um, I'm sure that you've already seen me in the intro but hello again. <laughs> Oh, I'm so nervous for this. I'm so nervous for this costume, you guys. Like, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off. It looks like I missed a part of my eyebrow. We can fix that. This is my reference picture. We're going to go off of this. It looks like a kind of mm, neutral-ish eye. Kind of dark, a little bit smoky. So I've actually already done my base because I figured you guys didn't really want to see that again. I watched one tutorial where the lady carved out her cheekbones to match Scarlett Johansson's or Natasha's. Um, I don't really have much to go with there, so I'm, I'm going to attempt this. I hope it doesn't turn out tragically. But I'm just going to take this color here, which is Silk Cream from my Jaclyn Hill palette, on this Morphe E4 brush. I'm going to start here and just kind of curve it up. If that makes... I don't know. Because <laughs> she has a heart-shaped face and I definitely do not. Okay, so I'm going to like squish my brush and do like this. Hopefully this doesn't turn out super muddy. It turned out okay. If you actually contour, I would use your contour stuff right now, but I don't contour, so. This side looks great. This side, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to dip into a darker color, I think. I think it's, it's Pooter from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm just going to slightly... I'm going to add to my contour a bit with some bronzer. I guess I could have used bronzer in the first place. And to my Marc Jacobs little palette and put this color which is called Take a Memo all over my lids just using a flat brush. And you know what? I'm actually going to use uh, Will C, which is this color right here, to put into the crease first. Um, we might deepen it up with some Jaclyn Hill palette, but yes, this is just like a neutral brown shade. So I'm just going to stick this in my crease. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Usually when I do my crease, I start here and then blend it in. I'm actually going to start about here and blend it. Okay, I'm actually going to start about here and blend it in so it's a little bit deeper right here, but then blend it out. Does that make any sense? This is going to like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blend it in like a, oops, like a frowny face. Does that make sense? You'll see, but I'm actually going to move you in closer for this portion of the video. So, taking it and I'm going to start just right here and blend it in, in little bitty circles, and blend it out. Does that make any sense? And I'm going to try to give my eyes a little bit of a hooded shape, try to change my eye shape with this color. This color here that we used to contour with, which is Pooter. Pooter. I'm going to do the same thing on a smaller brush that I did with the other color. Take my fluffier brush and just blend all of this in together to make it look seamless. This color here which is Central Park and then this color here which is Abyss. I'm going to mix them together just slightly and just use it as like a eyeliner kind of thing and bring it down below.
And I'm just gonna, this is just like a really mauve color. It's actually called Mauve Glaze. She has like a really neutral, darker lip. So that's what I'm using. Pick you a mauve shade, put it on, and then just kind of diffuse it with your fingers. So there we go. There is the makeup. I think I did okay. I think. Yeah, I did okay. Good job, Emily. Woohoo. Okay, and now on to the hair, which is going to be simple for me because I have short hair. She wears it to the side. My hair is already curly, so I'm just going to brush through it because her hair looks like it's... I don't know. She basically wears her hair just like I wear my hair, so we're on a good start. But if you can find a wig that is red and short, or even not even short, like you don't have to, you can cut the wig, doesn't really matter. And there we go. Now you are Natasha. Throw on a cute little like leather jacket or something like that. You could even make the Black Widow logo and put it on a black belt. That would be so cute. All that I'm wearing is a black tank top with some black jeans. And I would throw on a black jean jacket, or I'd throw on a black leather jacket, but my battery's about to die, so I want to do this right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, and comment down below and let me know who your favorite Avenger is. Oh, I don't know. I'll comment down below when I figure out who mine is. It might be 10 years from now when I comment, but <laughs> uh, right now it's probably Captain America or Thor or Loki. Um, anyways. <laughs> yeah, if you are enjoying HowlTuber, be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below and subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification. That way you will know when I post a new video, which is every single day in the month of October for hashtag HowlTuber. Yeah, so that's all that I got for you today, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!